50 laps on the big board. Here it comes the cap man, John Mitchell, off of turn number four. Race fans, here come the USMTS Modifieds. Side by side through the first set of corners. Cat going to jump out to the early lead. Here comes Ingles on the top side. Jason Ingles going to take the lead coming into turn three. Tanner Mullins going to make it three wide off of turn number four. It's going to be Ingles leading lap number one. By less than a tenth of a second, Jason Ingles, your leader. Tanner Mullins, though, Trenton Berry called it. That Pinko, too, looked really good last night in heat race action. Really good in heat race action here tonight. Really good early in a feature action as he takes over the lead at the end of lap two. Definitely seen some improvement in a lot of race cars here already, Eric, over last night. Uh, a lot of these guys, the cars. Hey, somebody that's turned his life around, though, in 24 hours is the chiz of Mr. Jim out of that uh, out of Iowa in the 24C. He couldn't uh, make, a, make a big lap to save his life last night. Right now he's looking real good chasing John Mitchell for that fifth spot. Yep, John Mitchell in the five uh, tight on the top of the racetrack. And it looks like Chisholm will take over the fifth spot. Meanwhile, up front, still a side-by-side -side affair between Tanner Mullins and Jason Ingles. Ingles in 12. Jay edges back out in front through turns three and four. Off of turn number four. Can he hold off the 0-2 this time? Simon says yes. A 28 Twi hundredths of a second. 28 one thousandths of a second, ladies and gentlemen. It don't get no closer than that. They are front shoot with uh, Jason Hughes in tow, and now Derek Ramirez in the top three for the first time. Here comes Jim Chisholm. Don't count out the youngster in the 24C. Eric, he's looking real good right now. Talk about turning the tables around overnight. Yeah, just as Derek Ramirez got into the top three, Jim Chisholm said, no, nah, thanks. I'm going to go ahead and take that spot. Sorry, Jim. Or, sorry, Derek is uh, up front. Battle for the lead. Here comes Jason Hughes in 12. Man, that was tight through turns three and four. Hughes tried to squeeze to the bottom of the racetrack. Mullins was there as well. And uh, as you said last night, you couldn't have fit the Holy Spirit between the two of those guys, I don't think, as Hughes trying to reassess the situation. Back to the bottom of three and four. Mullins will select the top this time. It's Mullins at the end of lap 15. Boy, they flip-flop lines. It's really crazy to watch these guys try these cars all over the racetrack. Is Now Hughes has his best shot of the night. He has a little bit of an edge coming into turn three here, Eric. Going to force Mullins to the top. Like I said, sitting in the Danny Crane Racing Engines hot pit. Here comes Chisholm on the inside. Jason Hughes. The car got, I don't know if he broke the tires loose or what, Eric, but Chisholm, now the fourth leader of this race as we complete lap number 25. The smallest of mistakes for Jason Hughes, and Jim Chisholm was all over it in car 24C. Now for this time, we'll see the mercy flag in the air. One lap to go for the driver out of Osage, Iowa. Downed into turns one and two, works by the 7G of Gabe Hodges once again, has that car pinned to the bottom of the racetrack in turns three and four. Off the of turn four, Jim Chisholm is a winner nationals champion here at Hunt County Raceway. Jim Chisholm smiling from ear to ear, getting ready to climb out to the race of his Skyrocket race car, grab that can of Lucky Lemon Victory Fuel and celebrate the USMTS win tonight here. The Hunt County Raceway, let's hear it for Jim Chisholm. Boy, you took the lead from Jason Hughes there, and there was no looking back on the restart. Tell me about how you got out front. Yeah, um, just, just, uh, I got to thank Dan Wheeler first of all because we came here this weekend. Uh, it's new track to us, um, not really knowing what gear we needed, and we actually didn't even have the gear we needed, and Dan lent us it. So it was a way night and day difference between yesterday and today. I wish we could have had the same thing for Joe yesterday because I think that's where a lot of our problems were coming from. But I got to thank him and. Uh, Kelly, we made a lot of good adjustments this year uh, so far in this car. Um, this is the earliest I've ever wanted a new car, so it feels kind of nice. Normally when we get one, we struggle for a little bit, but made a lot of new improvements on this one, and it feels a lot better already. Hey, when you pulled back to the trailer last night after having a tough night, did you know you were, were really close if, if you just get a couple things to go your way, or did you feel like maybe you're out in left field and going to have to struggle to, to get where you're at right now? No, because it felt like we had a lot of speed. It's just um, for us, it was we were only down to like 2,200 RPM through the center of the corner, and I killed it like four or five different times and ended up costing me a caution and a, you know a big part of our race and a lot of track position and um, really couldn't ever take off from there again so I knew the car had a lot of speed from what it was just needed a couple little changes